In today's video, we're going to be breaking down From Beyond by Sleep, and we're starting right now. What's up, guys? Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, and sludge metal genre. So if that's your type of thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. For today's lesson, we're going to be using a first act custom shop double cut guitar. I've got it strung up in C standard with a set of 11 to 52 Ernie Ball Burley Slinkies. Running through the clean channel of this solid state Orange Crush 20. We're going to be getting all of our fuzz from this Fuzzlord FX Voidmaster. And in case you're interested in any of that gear, I'm going to throw some links down in the description below. So get your shit tuned up to C standard. We're going to zoom in, do a quick demo, then we're going to come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. Alright guys, so as I mentioned in the introduction, your guitar is going to need to be tuned to C standard. We're going to play this song in the key of C minor. Now if your guitar was in standard tuning, the song would be in the key of E minor, but because we're tuned down two full steps or four semitones, we're in the key of C minor. You'll find that most of the riffs throughout this song use the C blues scale. While Al's playing the bass line on the intro of the song, Matt plays this octave. So we're using the root note here, sliding up from the first fret to the seventh fret on this fifth string, and then ending on the ninth fret on the fourth string. They do that a couple times and then Matt joins in the intro riff. So again, playing this part clean, we're using this sort of blues box pattern, C minor blues box.
gonna play it clean a couple times, then we're gonna kick on the fuzz. Then when we do that, we're gonna start to play this little section. So the same riff, except we're using this root major third dyad, which sounds really cool. Sort of hitting the root and then sliding up to the 11th fret on the fifth string. So we're hitting the root on the sixth string, sliding up to the 11th fret on the fifth string. That's a major third interval, makes a root major third dyad, sounds really cool. Next riff in the song, super heavy, sounds awesome, goes like this. So we're using the C blues scale here with the root, the flat seven, flat dip, which is the blue note. Perfect. Notice I'm sliding up at the first part from this first fret. Matt does a lot. This is a flat second interval from the Phrygian mode, minor sounding. That slide's actually not in the original recording, but when he plays it live these days, he's doing it all the time. Next riff in the song goes like this. So again, blue scale, minor pentatonic. For that little riff, we're at the seventh fret on the fourth string, fifth fret on the fourth string, seventh fret on the fifth string, and then finishing with the open note on back on the fourth string. When Matt plays it these days, he actually doesn't do the... He actually just goes like this. I've also seen him add to that little riff at the end and go... Often he plays it up here these days, but in the original, back in 94, when you watch Sleep Play It Live, he plays it here. And in the very early sleep reunion shows, he plays it here. These days, he's up here. Next riff in the song goes like this.
So again, blue scale using the root, the flat fifth, the perfect fourth, and the minor third. All of that's played on the fifth and sixth strings. So we're gonna kick the dirt off again and play this. So again, blues box, minor pentatonic. Then the distortion's gonna come on, you're gonna play the same riff except with some trills, and it's gonna go like this. So when we're playing it without distortion, we're ending on this 7th fret 6th string. When we're playing it with the trills, we're trilling between the perfect 4th and the flat 5th of the blue scale. repeat the same riff at a higher octave. So instead of playing on the 5th and 6th strings at the 5th and 7th frets, we're going to be on the 3rd and 4th strings at the 7th and 9th. That covers all the riffs in the song. We're gonna take a quick look at the intro of the solo section because it was easy to figure out and it's pretty cool. So really neat intro to that solo using the Dorian mode along with the flat fifth interval from the blue scale. I've heard it that scale called the Dorian blue scale. Really cool, sort of similar to what Tony Iommi does on Planet Caravan. Really cool mixing those two scales. I'm gonna play it through a couple times slowly. You can kind of zoom in, look at what I'm doing, and maybe give it a try if you're into it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo. If you did, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and again, ring that notification bell to get hit up every week when I put out my new video. Question of the week, have you ever had the chance to play a first act custom shop guitar? I've owned three of them, two guitars and a bass. Curious to know what you guys think of them. Anybody had a chance to play one? Let me know down in the comments.
For more of my content, you can follow me at Does It Doom on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can tag me and follow me on Instagram at It Dooms, and I will share your rigs and riffs. So until next time, always remember Tony Iommi is your friend.